Hello! Hello, hello everyone, how are we doing today? Welcome to my show. Jeff Geese, hello, hello Dot, hello Danelle, Ellie, uh, we got Sam, we got Cyber Goddess, we got Omi Wins, Knowledge Power, Bert Ops, and Danelle! My guys, how's it going? Hello Cyber Goddess, hello Knock Knock, Moolah Day! It is, it is. Keep an eye out, our show happening in one hour's time exactly from right now. We'll be revealing some pretty big stuff we've been working on, okay? It is massive. Didn't realize it was 3 p.m. Well, here was your reality check. It is 3 p.m. Oh, no, it's you, says Ellie. You love it, really. I know. I know you love watching these shows. It is your favorite pastime. That's why you're back every single day. Big stuff, says We Like Shapes. You got, I, honestly, like, the, the amount of stuff we are planning for this, it is crazy. I'm really excited to show you it later. Um, 4 p.m., 4 p.m. UK time. Hello, Morge. Hello. Curse to never change his name ever again. Ellie said, of course, I love it. Exactly. Paradox, uh, respect the hustle, says Cyber Goddess. Thanks. Hi, I'm eating pizza, says Popping Glass 19. Good. Good job. Hopefully, you're enjoying your pizza. What is on your pizza? Have you got like a favorite topping? Are you eating, I don't know, pepperoni? What other stuff on pizza? My favorite pizza combo is like a really weird one. None of you will ever get it in a million years. Loving the t-shirt though, says Ellie. It's my Rayquaza t-shirt. It's my Pokemon Go t-shirt I got from Pokemon Go Fest this year. Yes, I still play the game. It's good. It's a good game. Pepperoni, says Popping Glass. You'll love to see it. Pineapple, says uh, Cowboy Weez. I'm Young B, says Pineapple on Pizza always. I do like Pineapple on Pizza, but no, it's shrimp. It's weirder than shrimp. It is weirder than shrimp. I'll let you guys know what it is in a few minutes' time. Some Ceratops says... Love Pokemon Go. Let's go. Let's go. Stick your friend code in uh, the Discord server. Maybe I'll add you. What level are you, says Test 1, Test 2? I am level 39. Nearly, I'm about 4 million XP off of level 40. So I stopped playing for like a while. In the middle, I started like playing it pretty religiously. And then I sort of stopped. And now I'm back again like playing it um, pretty, pretty full time. So yeah, go. It's a good game. If you don't play it, you should definitely play it. Haggis, says Jeff Keys. Not quite that weird. Not quite that weird. Level 44 says anime down. Wow, okay. That's impressive. The challenges once you get to level 40 are like kind of kind of mad though. Joe, what's your friend code? Says JMBTR. I'll put it in the Discord server later. You guys can add me. I've got 80 friends at the moment on there though, so I need to I need to unadd some. But I'm not sure any of them be happy with me. Salmon on pizza, it's not. Eileen has had Haggis pizza in Edinburgh and she loves it. Fair. That actually does sound kind of nice, to be fair. I've had a kebab pizza before. Weird experience. It was a place called Pizza uh, XXL, and they were XXL pizzas. are massive. It's crazy. Okay. My pizza choice, Ellie. It is. And this is so weird, okay? So it's tomato, tomato base. Tomato base. Okay. Followed by a little bit of, like, a little bit of seasoning. You know, you've got to do it. Okay. With parma ham. Not weird yet. Not weird yet. Parma ham. And then double cream. Okay. Stick that in a pizza oven. Take that Take that out. Delicious. It is delicious. Double cream, palm ham. Beautiful combo. Yeah. Yeah, I know, Jeff. See, it's weird. You guys, you guys think it's weird, okay? You think it's weird. It's a really good combo. I promise. I promise. This is why you're my favorite person in the world. That delicious. Ellie. See, Ellie knows what's up. Ellie knows what's up. It is the best topping. It is the best topping. Weird to shot lead. Hey, don't knock it till you tried it. Okay, that's why I keep saying... Go make yourself a parma ham and cream pizza. It is the thing. Is it wet? It isn't. It isn't wet because the cream kind of like. You just have to try it. Honestly, um, it's sweet. It's it's not really that sweet. It kind of it it balances out really well with everything. It really combines really well, so it isn't like ridiculously sweet. Cream. Look, you guys. I told you. I told you. You'd never guess it in a million years. Cream pizza. It is. Cream and parma ham. Honestly, try it. Who sells it? No one. It's uh, they do. Uh, uh, eat it in Italy though, but I have to make it myself. My ex girlfriend had a pizza oven, um, so when I went on her house, we would like make pizza, and that was my favorite topping. That's how that's how like I, I had it more than pretty often. I call it J Joe Garitza Pizza says knock knock. What a name! What a name! Uh, anyway, anyway, uh, it is five minutes past. So we get started with the show. I think. Was it an uni? It wasn't. It was an actual, like, brick pizza oven that she made. Anyway, 
Joe put sausage in his coffee, though, so that's okay. I don't even drink coffee. Jeff Keys caught you. Anyway, question number one is coming up after we explain the rules. Hello, everyone. My name's Joe. This is more trivia. Now, the rules of this show are pretty straightforward, okay? We have got six questions that I'm going to put in front of you in just a few seconds' time. Your job is to answer those questions quickly and correctly, because the quicker you answer the questions, the more points you're going to rack up. And the top scorers at the end of today's show will be walking away with these prizes. First and third, uh, one... No, this is the wrong this is the wrong prize asset. Hang on. I can fix it. I can fix it, I promise. <sighs> Hang on. I've got to get it up. Thank you. Old asset, maybe. Maybe the maybe the old asset, maybe. Anyway, I'll just read it out because I've got it here. So first to third, um, ten pounds each. And then everyone who scores over thirty-five thousand points is uh gonna be taking over a split of twenty-five uh, pounds and then we're doing a round of spot prize of two pound fifty as well future prizes not future prizes you guys aren't receiving a thousand a thousand pounds i'm sorry um these are the old prizes and we were messing around with that accidentally replace the asset so my bad guys my bad but anyway then the rules those are the prizes that all makes sense i think anyway so let's get started with the show damn it joe so sorry we're gonna sorry sorry no no a thousand pounds for you uh anything cream based questions Says the amazing puzzle. There is no cream-based questions today. I don't think. I don't know. Anyway, question number one. Here we go. So we're talking about this character right here. Now, who is this? Who is this person? Tell me in chat. Tell me in chat. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna? What are you gonna? What are you gonna put? Who is this person? It's not the question. I just want you guys to know. Danny DeVito. It is Danny. De no, I'm joking. It's Harry Potter. Harold Pottingham. That's it. That is, has a P, says uh, Charlotte. I like, that's my favourite. That's my favourite one. Um, anyway, this is Harry Potter. Question number one. Here we go. What is the name of this character's parents? Was it John and Ginny, James and Lily, or Charles and Sarah? What are you going to do? What are you going to pick? What are you going to pick? Yo, Wizard Annie, says Annie B. Misclicked, says Dot. So Dot. Easy question, says Ali. Is it a pretty easy question? Okay, we'll start off easy. Okay, we'll start off easy. Revealing the answer. It is James and Lily. James and Lily Potter. Good job if you got that one right. Hopefully some of you did. 170 of you did. 54 going for John and Ginny. And 46 going for Charles and Sarah. Fair play. My boss was yelling at me, says Laura Ripson. I'm sorry, Laura Ripson. I'm sorry. Um, get him to play as well. And then it solves all problems. Are you a wizard, Joe? Says the amazing puzzle. I absolutely am. Um... More correctus. Congratulations. You're all going to get all the questions right. Uh, anyway, question number two. Here we go. Keep the ball rolling. Question two. This is an iPod. Okay. Now, OGs remember an iPod. Not their phone. Not their phone. The iPod. I missed the first question. Let's go for a pint. I'm sorry. You still have a chance to win, though. Okay. You missed my favorite pizza topping as well. I'll recap at the end. <laughs> but this is an iPod. Question two, here we go. In which year was the iPod first launched? Was it 1991, 1996, or 2001? I still have my iPod. I also have an iPod um, somewhere. I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere. Anniversary of, of Jobs Passing, says Jeff Keys. I suppose so. Ancient History, says Will I Show as well. That's all just ancient history now. Uh, revealing the answer, it is 2001. Good job. 149 if you got that one right. 50 going for 1996. I was born in 1996 as Monte. The year of the Monte. Um, and 72 going for 1991. Kind of a hard question. Okay, the years are... I mean, they're not They're not too close. Like, if you knew it was the 2000s, you get that one right. But yeah, some, some devious, devious answers there. Uh, anyway, that's it. October 23rd, 2001. Ellie knows far too much about the launch of the iPod. Uh, is it pineapple? So let's go for a pint. My favourite pizza topping is double cream and parma ham so there you go there you go everyone in the chat's gonna start berating me again anyway question number three here we go question number three we are talking about this which is the paris 2024 olympics i realize it's a, it's a see-through image so it, i had to hold my hand there so you guys can actually see it but it's the paris 2024 olympics um who's anyone going to the olympics anyone's gonna be there in person wasn't born until November. No, never getting that. What, last November? 
quite smart if you're only one year old. It's, is it in Paris, Joe? It is in Paris. It is. Is the logo fire or face? I don't really know. I was trying to figure this out as well. I think it's supposed to be a flame. But those are, those are lips. They're definitely lips. So maybe both. I don't know. Um, anyway, question number three. Here we go. Where will the surfing take place during these Olympics? Will it take place on the Brittany, the River Sheen, or the Tahiti? Throw it away. With a scene, Sian, I don't know. You guys know my, you guys know my French. So burned, so burned. I think it's gold, says Knock Knock. Dragon Ball Z, says Sunel. Sexy Flame, says Gruff. That, that is what it looks like, look at it. Crazy stuff. Um, the correct answer is Tahiti. Good job if you got them on right. 109 of you knowing your surfing capabilities. Uh, 54 going for the river. Uh, 51 going for Brittany. Good job. Good job. I got us wrong because my shoe was untied, says Law Mipsum. Law Mipsum coming up with all the excuses. But you know what? I don't even know. I was going to say a bad, bad worker blames their tools. But um, I realize you're not really using any tools apart from your fingers. So I don't know. Anyway, that was question number three. Let's look at those leaderboards halfway through. Who's in the lead? Ellie, why do you know so much trivia? Like, that's the one. Why do you know so much? Anyway. Zeusless is in the lead, followed by Breezy. Now, can they like, RYRY, no worries today. Jeremy TR. Who else have we got? We've got... Leaping Antidote, excuse me. Wheels, I do found out on Urban Samurai. Leaping Antidote, I haven't seen you before. So, welcome, if this is your first time playing. Good to see you high scoring on the leaderboard there. You'd love to see it. Uh, anyway, let's get started with question number four, shall we? See... Uh, who can who can get this next one right? Ellie is Google, says Jeff Keys. Very true. Ellie, what is the colour of a bagel? If you know that one, I'll be impressed. Anyway, question number four. Here we go. Which of these countries is not a Baltic state? Is it Slovakia, Lithuania, or Latvia? Foot away. Now cut that out. Can I buy some money? Now cut that out is balling. They have so much money from these shows. They can afford to probably buy the whole company. <laughs> the correct answer is Slovakia. Easy questions has fallen over. 117, get us one right. 42, going for Lithuania. 35, going for Latvia. Good job. Good job if you got us one right. Uh, let's go back to chat here. Uh, well done. Now, question number five. Okay, now, question number five. I actually rewrote because I read the question and I was like, is that? I don't know. So I changed it. But if I ask you guys a question, how many calories are in a Big Mac? What would you say? What would you think the answer was? Just if, if you think you know this, put it in chat. But how many calories are in a Big Mac? There is, this is not a, not a question we're asking. I just want to know what you guys think. 69, huh? 350, 650, 1,500, 1,565, 2,100, 1,200, 563, 604. Okay, okay. So, basically, I was looking at this and... The answer which you put down as correct was 250. Uh, and I was like, that's not right. So I Googled it. And I think Google said 350. Or maybe it's the other way around. I can't remember. But Google says something different. And I was like, and this seems like harshly debatable, right? Because like surely in every country, it's 257 for 100 gram. But like, you know, it's a debatable question. So I feel like I dodged a bullet on that one. I changed the question out for something else. But... Uh, here we go. Question number five. This is the real question that I changed it out for. Here we go. Question five. Which of these was created to celebrate Big Mac's 50th anniversary? Was it the Mac Totes, the Mac Coin, or the Mac Sneakers? UK Big Mac is 508. See, this is what I was thinking, right? Like, there's so many different variations of Big Mac and all this stuff over there. I was like, it's a bad question. It's a minefield question. I gotta miss it. So I did miss it. Um, anyway, we're feeling the answer. It is the Mac coin. The Mac coin. 110 getting this one right. Uh, 35 going for the Mac tote and 41 going for the Mac sneakers. Now, um, they all they all kind of exist, I guess. Like Mac sneakers and Mac tote because they like, you can get them. But the Mac coin was the answer I was looking for. And it basically, it was just a different coin. I'll actually show you guys. I've got an image here. I'm trying to find one that's a little bit. There we go. So it basically had the word 50 on it. Um, and the other side had like a little decoration. There you go. Um, to show you guys what it was. But... That you could go into any McDonald's that were participating and redeem this for a free Big Mac. So, yeah, this is worth one Big Mac. Realistically, though, I would keep the coin. I would 100% keep the coin. I would rather have 
the Big Mac coin, or the Mac coin, sorry, than the Big Mac, in all honesty. So, you know, there you go. But that was his 50-year anniversary. They did that. Um, Joe Mac coin ice. <laughs> kind of does it. I've uh, done it. If I put it like that. Me, when I see the Big Mac on the counter, my eyes, like, you know, like cartoon. Anyway, um, question number six is coming up after we look at the leaderboards. Here we go. I made the threshold because uh, my parents are mad, says uh, Lord Mipson. Well, pay them off. Pay them off with the money you win. Uh, anyway, Jeremy TR is in the lead right now, followed by Fancy Alley, Ryan uh, Colio, and Anna S. We got Baccarina, we got Nick, uh, we got Sag, Amazed, uh, Asis, and James Bond in the top 10 right now. But all the way down the leaderboard to where, where are we stopping? Where are we stopping? Where are we stopping? 61st place, Arthur Dudley. Uh, currently winning a split of the prize money. But we do have one more question. So that number may rise a little bit. Here we go. Question number six. I miss the Mac Jr. So there's MTB. The Mac Jr. is just a Big Mac with ingredients taken out. You can edit your Big Mac to be a Mac Jr. on the little like ordering screens if you wanted. Um, anyway, question number six. Here we go. We're talking about this car. Now, can anyone tell me what this car is? What model of car this is? You guys can pick. Now, it probably will help. <laughs> it is a Porsche. It is a Porsche. Question number six is as follows. Which star took an ill-fated drive in this model car in 1955? This is a Porsche. Is it James Dean, Marilyn Monroe, or Grace Kelly? This is a Porsche 550. Porsche 550. Dun, 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 dun. This no copyright sounds got me vibing. Uh, it is James Dean. It is James Dean. 166 getting that one right. It's 44 going for Marilyn Monroe. It's 50 going for Grace Kelly. Um, yeah, easy question, right? Easy question. Um, it's a good job for managed to get one right. No femme drivers about this is falling down. It was, it was a little bit rarer. This is true. Which. Uh, which kind of made, made make it a little bit more obvious. So let me give it a that. Um, but there you go. Good job if you got one right. So well done. Round of applause. Let's take a look at the leaderboards and see who is taking home the cash money today. 285 people watching right now. Hello, guys. I got this one because I love breakfast sandwiches. Law Ipsen, your insightful knowledge into your life is crazy. Jeremy, TR, Ryan, and Back are all receiving £10 each. Very well done. Let's take a scroll down the leaderboard, though, and see who else is taking home a split of the prize money. 107th place and above today. It's taken over split the price. So good job. You have the Tiger for just getting in there. Salad brain. So close, but so far, unfortunately. Let's take a quick look at our random prize uh, draw, shall we? 248 people. Let's... I'm trying to think what the uh, file is called. There we go. I'm going to take and just search for it. Makes it so much easier. So 248 people. 200, 248, and save. Let's bring up my randomizer. Three, two, one. Bang, there it is. Let's give it a spin. Okay, before we do, actually. Everyone spam your numbers in chat. I want you to spam your number. Where are you placing on the leaderboard? I want you to put it in chat. Maybe it's going to give you some more good luck. Fingers crossed. 129 says Bartholomew. We've got tons of numbers rolling in. 58, 26, 133, 147. Tons of names, tons of names. Chat's going crazy. 14, 14, 14. Let's take a spin. Here we go. 18 for cash out. Says John M. Oh, John M. I hope. I hope. Uh, <laughs> that's. That's. Huh. Huh. <laughs> I. <laughs> I guess. I guess we never made it so it couldn't be zero. Um, <laughs> that, that is new. That is new. Um, okay, well, we'll spin it again. But that is very funny. I can't believe we didn't put prevention for that. Uh, well, fair. Fair enough. That's brilliant. I love that. 179th place. <laughs> I can't believe. I can't believe it was zero. I, I was like, what? How? What? <laughs> 179th place, though. The price there is going to Lisa, Lisa Adams. Sorry, Lisa Adams. 70,620 points there. Very, very well done. Let's put it in chat. Lisa Adams is our spot prize winner today. Thank you so much. And uh, the person who was in 0th place 0th? 0? There isn't really a, 
apostrophe kind of thing for that. Person who was non-existent got nothing, sadly. So there you go. Um, if it's not on Discord, then it never happens. Law Ipsum, the facts that we all we all love. Anyway, zeroth is a word. Is it? Is it? I don't know. You should give it to zero scorers. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? There's quite a lot though. Quite a lot at the bottom of the show. Well, I say that. Probably about 20, 30. Um, anyway, anyway, there we go. Thank you guys so much for playing. It's great fun. I was in zero at the cards I play. Fifth. Fifth. That's what they call it. Anyway, thank you guys for playing. We are going to be back in approximately 40 minutes. Okay, so 40 minutes. We're doing a big announcement. We're doing a big announcement. Um, what happens if a spot prize is a robot? Then they don't get it. They don't get it. Guess it goes to someone else. We'll, uh, we'll re-randomize it and just pick randomly. Um, anyway, that is the show. Again, 40 minutes time. We're going live with the Moolah Madness announcement show, which I'm very, very excited about. I'm going to be doing that with Tim. So make sure you uh, come join us for that. It's going to be good fun, as, as it always is. I, I mean, you know... So much to announce. Okay, so much to announce. So little time to announce it. You want to be there because you don't want to miss out on this stuff. Uh, thank you guys so much for playing. I will see you all at 4pm for our next show where we're going to be doing that announcement. And have a lovely rest of your afternoon. I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye-bye.